Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Scorpio for love and relationship for the month of September Okay, you are not really feeling the connection with your person because you feel like, you know, I'm confused. Why I don't just get married? You're waiting and waiting for someone that you love to be giving you the actual commitment and marriage here. And I get here that you are like, I'm not committed to this. I'm doubting that my person won't even like you know, to be with me. Your person like you know, is a really need for money, confused a lot. And I get here your person is holding on you so much at this time. You feel like you know, that you want to walk away and cut it off. But it looks to you here that you always feel like you know, that this isn't really working. It's not progressing. Maybe your person has really played a lot of games with me in the past, you know, lied to me about too many things. I can be free and do whatever I want. Either that you want to block your relationship or you want to really like, you know, just to see like, you know, if you can't talk to other people in the same time. Your person does not want to walk away from you. They still want you. They are really holding on you so strongly. And I guess here your person is really very protective over you. Even they are doubting themselves towards you. Like in a way that they are they hang into you. They want you. Your person wants you. They don't want to leave you. They don't want to go anywhere. And you are kind of like, no, my person doesn't really want to commit to me. They don't want to marry me. I'm not sure even if I want to get married to this person anymore or not. That, you know, this is what you are thinking, you are feeling. Your person is kind of like, okay, it's almost, I'm almost done with my freedom from the actual, like, you know, really other person or other, like, you know, marriage that he or she had. And you are kind of like, oh, okay. And you are kind of like, this isn't working for me. You feel like, you know, liberated, free, happy, understanding yourself, understanding your partner, feeling like maybe I should be free. I did a lot. Maybe it's time for me, like, you know, to be free. I'm not really getting any of you is going to be free. I, I see you together. I see you like you know, hooking up with together. It's going to be marriage. Out of the blue, there is marriage. And you are like, I'm not convinced. For some of you that you are dwelling on someone like you know, who have someone from your past and you want to connect with that person. But it says here you are causing yourself bad luck all the time when you think that. Sorry. It's up to you.
your personal friend, you're playful, you're looking good at this time, like, you know, they play with you a lot, and you are looking great, and, like, you know, just want you, and be want to be around you, but they kind of, like, you know, finding that you are different lately, so your person is suspicious that maybe you are fooling around, cheating, they are suspicious, but, but I guess here there is a lot of playfulness between you two. Your person wants to go on a trip again. But you feel like you, know, you want to go on that trip with your person. And your person is like, no, I cannot take you because I need to go alone. And you feel like you know, that maybe your person is really like, you know, uh, trying to go with their uh, exes maybe somewhere. And you are like, I'm not going to allow you to go on that trip. But you cannot really control it too. You feel like you know, your person is dealing with another person or still like you know, dealing with their exes. For some of you like you know, that you still like you know, really with a relationship with someone who is really still married also. But it looks to me here that you want to free yourself. You want your person to free themselves from the other person because you think they are playing games. Or they are not really, your person not coming forward 100% because they are blocking you with their exes. They are done with their exes. Your person seriously wants to marry you. Seriously. And they are committed already. I know you don't believe it, there is a lot here, but it says here, he or she want to marry you. Really? They are already seeing that you and this person in a commitment, a settled down, a relationship, but you don't see it like, you know, as, like you feel like, you know, yeah, that, that, that there is that relationship, but it's not, that my, like, the commitment is not really a normal commitment to you. You feel like you know, it's a different type of relationship that you don't understand it. It keeps you like, you know, undecided back and forth and disappointed. You want like, you know, things to happen so fast as soon as possible. Well, it's happening so fast as soon as possible. Anytime soon, there is that love, marriage, commitment there. It says here, like, you know, be careful about, like, you know, putting your selfishness there because your person, like, you know, that they wanted to be with you, but you wanted things as it comes to you without really realizing the other person feeling. Well, I don't think you are selfish at all. Hmm. But this is a message, and we have to follow the message. It says here, don't put your selfishness there because um, some, for some of you, like, you know, that uh, someone was trying to heal from other relationship, trying to do things like you know not to make uh, a problem for themselves also for some of you i get here that you your other person trying to get really financially ahead um so it says here like you know, don't really think about yourself only the other person have um obligations to something and you need like you know, to feel your person i know you worked so hard you have been very patient but it looks to me here that look at the bright side that your person is with you right now they don't want to leave you but you need to understand the other person like you know needs and i know you need you have needs too but it says here that your person is with you it's not leaving it's not going anywhere so you need just like you know, to trust it at this time that's what it says because you are becoming like a man and angry sometimes and you jump into conclusions about something and you feel like, you know, in a rushing situation when you are angry that you want to stop on that relationship. It says here, like, wait a minute. Your person is really committed to you. It's over in walking away. There is no walking away anywhere. You're not going to walk away anywhere. You're going to be with this person. You get what you want. You get your wish. So it's happening to you. Just be patient a little bit. You have been very patient. I agree with that. Well, dear Scorpio, I hope you enjoy your reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. 
The link for my website is below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.